Hey guys, uh, Emilio here. Um, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. And uh, yeah, I think you guys are in for a bit of a treat today. We've uh, come to the Johannesburg National Zoo. And I don't have much screen recording going at the moment, but you will see in a bit. There are a hell of a lot of Pokestops here. It's a hell of a lot of things to see. We're going to see all the animals, hopefully catch some decent Pokemon. And yes, guys, I'll catch up with you at every enclosure that we get to. Peace. Hey guys, yeah, so Pokemon hasn't been that great so far, but there's going to be um, quite a few interesting and nice shots added into this clip of all the animals that we go to. I'm going to try and get the best shots I possibly can, create like a montage of all the animals for you guys, and um, hopefully we'll get, the, the, get decent Pokemon as well, just to add in. Obviously it's a Pokemon Go video, and we'll have a look at all the animals, maybe catch some an wild Pokemon with wild animals. We'll see you guys. Anyway, catch up to you. Yeah, so again, no update on Pokemon yet, but I just want to show you the map of the zoo. Hopefully we can see that quite nicely. And we've done, the tiger unfortunately wasn't there, we've done this, we've got that nice footage of the cheetah. We're down at the bears now, and we're going to work our way around and see everything. Anyways guys, catch up with you. Alright guys, so, just figured, well, we had, we had, oh, okay then, sorry about that, I don't know what happened there. Figured we are at the gym, so... Might as well battle it. Give me a special item, a special item, nothing. Um, let's just to take this quick little level one gym with a small accident, it'll take mine rather quickly, I think. Um, yeah, let's give it a go and let's uh, stick something fun in there afterwards, guys. And is it gonna let me, there you go. Using the Tyranitar guys, as I said I'll do. Oh, dodge, I missed that. A heavy slam. Let's give him a fire blast. Oh, and he's hitting me with a heavy slam again. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not finding this Tyranitar that effective, guys. Not effective. He's a beast, he's strong, but he's really not that effective in my mind. Oh, heavy slam again, and we managed to dodge that one slightly. But, oh, and again, what is going on there? Why is he getting so many moves off, guys? Why is he getting so many moves off? And let's just knock him out with the fire blast. Game over. There you go. Gunzo for Shanzo, guys. That is it. He is gone. Let's make this a Velogym. Team Velo all the way. Let's quickly just heal that Tyranitar because I want to put him in there. And let's put him in. Let's put the Tyranitar in. And there you go, guys. Tyranitar in his first gym. Alright, guys. Uh, let's just maybe see what this Wobble Pet's doing. It's a lady wobble pet with the lipstick on. 540, I'll throw one ball at it. I got a great. Oh, the ring, this ring is definitely helping, guys. Definitely does help. Two. And it's jumping out. Alright, guys, I'm going to cut it there. I'm not, and it ran for me in any case. I'm definitely going to be cutting it there. And hopefully, we can come across something a lot more fun here um, to form for you, Pokemon wise. Definitely going to show you the lions, especially for you guys from overseas. Lions are a big thing. Um, and yeah, catch up with you. Hey guys, yeah, so just wanted to show you, I'm already out of the gym. This is one of those gyms that just gets taken over as quickly as you go in, it gets taken over. So you don't survive very long, uh, busy healing it up. Let's just waste another one of these big ones, why not? Um, but I just wanted to show you guys, as you saw in my last video, there was a 10k egg that hadn't hatched yet. And unfortunately it hatched off camera while I was busy setting up to come to the zoo today. And if we go to recents, you can have a look what it was guys, a Lapras, yet another one, another Lapras to add to our Pokédex. The missus was just uh, giving me the sign over there because she's not very impressed because she's only had one. I now have 77 Lapras candies so I can <laughs> power one up quite far which I will be doing at a later stage but I'm not really interested in Gen 1 and nobody really is at the moment interested in Gen 1 at all. But yeah, I just thought I would show you that, so the 10Ks, and then just 
bring you up to date on the current eggs that we're on. We've got a 2K that's going to pop off very soon. Not, nothing in the 2Ks that I really need. Got uh, quite a few 5Ks and we've got another 10K going and space for two more. So hopefully we can fill these eggs up now during this. But yes, guys, um, I hope you're liking the, the, the animal footage so far. And yeah, we'll catch up with you. the next gym I thought I would uh, attack the gym with a nice um, World War II cannon in the background there um, it's a nice little highlight here in the, in the zoo there is the whole um, World War II museum that's linked to part of the zoo but unfortunately we're not going to get to that today um, there's a Dragonite and a Blissey in this gym so hopefully we can get it out the Dragonite is super effective against the Tyranitar though I didn't know that Tyranitar really is not that effective guys it's really not that effective oh we used Outrage jeepers and Outrage takes a hell of a lot off hopefully the Fire Blast can do some damage let's see let's see let's see can we get him can we get him can we get him and he's down okay we've just got a Blissey left now but you know as we all know Blisseys are insanely difficult to to get done. Hopefully I can get a fire blast off just before he takes the Tyranitar down. Come on, come on, come on, we can do this, we can do this. Oh, Psychic is going to destroy him. Okay. We do have a Golem. Golem is quite effective against a Blissey because he's got a lot of HP so he sticks around as well. Um, hopefully we can get this down. Come on, come on, come on. Get this blissy down, man. Come on. 60 seconds left. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Psychic. I'm just going to ignore the psychic. Hit him with another earthquake. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. Nearly there. Right. And he's gone down. Boom. See the Kangas gone there? That was my son who was helping me take us down. Oh, we still gotta do it one more time. That is that is horrible, 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 horrible. What I'll do is just quickly heal up here, so we can take it on again. Golem, that was a bit of a waste, but hey guys, of a max potion. But anyway, we don't have time to waste here. We want to carry on getting the animals. So let's quickly just take this blissey out. Hopefully, quickly. Uh, let's go. Let's go. So what are you thinking guys so far? Is it worth a thumbs up? It's not quite a nice place to play Pokemon. Well, there's not a lot of decent Pokemon yet. Enough for me to film for you guys. But there's animals and there's gyms. So it's at least giving us something to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. These blissies, I tell you, these blissies. They're just in gyms everywhere. They just literally make it near impossible to attack gyms. The other day I found it uh, all 10, level 10, um, Blissey Gym, which just I started started trying to see if I could get it down anywhere. I got it down at like one level, and I was yeah, it's not worth it. So I think that's the way to go if you want to keep your gym now yourself. Level 10 Blissey Gym. There you go. Boom, Blissey is down. This time I'm putting my Dragonite in because the Tyranitar really didn't um, hold his ground in the previous one. So let's put my Dragonite in there for the CP. The Dragonite in. Hopefully he stays for at least a little bit longer than the Tyranitar stayed in the other one. Anyways guys, we've got some more interesting animals coming up so hopefully you guys will enjoy that footage and yeah, catch you now. Hey guys, so Busy making our way through the zoo and we finally got a decent catch for for an, at least one decent catch for the day hopefully. It's a grammar, fairly rare. 
most people it was their last uh, Pokedex entry for Gen 2. Um, other than like Lapras and stuff, they got a hatch um, to get a muck. Huh? Gen 1. Gen 1, yeah, sorry, 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 Gen 1. Um, and he went down really easy. I should have actually used a, a pineapple berry. And actually, I don't think I need to use a pineapple berry. Yeah, I've got 155 candies. I was grinding out Gen 1 like crazy, guys. But yeah, at least it's something in there, you know. My egg should actually be really close. I don't know why that 2k hasn't gone off yet. Yeah, he is getting there, he's getting very close. And let's just spin this. It'd be really awesome if you give me an item, and no, it won't. Obviously, it won't. It's super rare to get, it's super hard to get these. But yes, guys, some more animal footage coming up. Hey guys, yeah, so back again, um, obviously some more animal footage put in there for you guys. The Pokemon have been very slow, I've been spinning a lot of Pokestops, but nothing else, nothing major has been going down. So what I did, what I do figure that I will do is I'm just going to run my recents again. And if you have, remember that um, Tediosa that I said that I caught, that I've maxed up, the 100% Tediosa. I think it's appropriate because he turns into a very big uh, bear type looking Pokemon. Um, which I don't seem to be able to find. I've obviously scrolled past him, sorry guys. Uh, no, there, there he is, 100% RV Tediosa. So let's evolve him into an Ursaring. 100% RV Ursaring. Hopefully he gets a really good move set. And I think it's appropriate because he's a bear type Pokemon. Let's have a look. What are we saying? What are we saying? Registered to the Pokédex, and okay, got close combat. I don't know how good that is. I don't know if close combat is a good move or not. But 2,543. That's pretty impressive. If I rearrange by CP, he's going to be quite high up there, I think. Um, obviously, go too far, and he's there. So he's second page Pokémon. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's just rename him quickly. So he gets his true name. There you go, and we'll just add the 100 back in. Ursaring 100. Registered to the Pokédex, guys. That's a, that's a new one for this episode. And hopefully the eggs are going to pop off very soon. Down 4.5. So I'll see you guys again in a few minutes. Hey guys, yeah, so you can see that um, the eggs have finally popped off. Let's hope for something really good, please. Like, I haven't had a good egg hatch in I don't know how freaking long. And it's a panita. Serious? I don't know what more to tell you guys. I'm really not having anything decent come of it. And when I do get a decent hatch, then it hatches off camera like that Lapras. Like, seriously, transfer, goodbye. That's number one. 
excuse the shouting and stuff, it is the like a public sitting picnic area of the zoo now that I'm in, and it's a Cuba. I'm actually almost tempted to not even bother filming eggs anymore, guys. I'm really tempted to not even do it anymore. Because it's not even giving me amazing Pokemon, it's giving me nothing. It's giving me absolute nonsense. Number three. Number three, number three, number three, and what do we have? A star you. Not even Gen 2, guys, not even Gen 2. None of these things are coming out of even Gen 2. I don't know. It's amazing, it's defense, and that is it, because it doesn't start with HP, so I'm not interested. Goodbye. Number four. Whew. Number four is going to be... A uh, Magby. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. I'll take a Magby. I only had two of these before, so... That's all right. Hopefully it's really good. It's amazing. It's attack. It's defense. So it's above. It's about a 90 percenter. That's that's pretty good. I'll keep him. There you go. So we did get something half decent out of those egg hatches, but last one, and it's an Ellicott. Now Ellicott has just been over the top, over the top. So yeah, praise, and it's useless. Transfer him, and guys, yeah. Uh, uh, and the 2k went. That's impressed. impressive because it wasn't synced up. But one more. And what's it going to be? It's going to be a ghastly. Okay, well, maybe if we get a better RV. Let's have a look. And it's only strong. Serious. Serious. No, we don't want to evolve him. We want to transfer him. And guys, yeah, we're going to go for lunch. Uh, another 5k. Let's see what we got for the eggs at the moment. A five and a two, I'll wait for another five so we can put them on together, and yeah, that's probably going to be it until I close the video at home, guys, just Oh my word, guys, talk about Murphy's Law, talk, talk about Murphy's Law. I just sat down and evolved one of these five seconds ago, and what do we get? A 2068 Ursa Ring. Can you freaking handle it? 2058 Ursa Ring. Yeah, in the zoo, in the cafe, little park area of the zoo, but nevertheless, how Murphy is that? How Murphy is that? We just evolved this little guy, well, the little Teddy Ursa, into the Ursa room. Boom, there you go. So there's a decent wild catch. I don't know what it is lately, guys. Last episode, we evolved the Tyranitar, we get a wild Dragonite. This one, we evolved the Teddy Ursa, we get a Teddy Ursa. Can you freaking handle it with the same moveset as well? I am so impressed, guys. I am so, 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 so impressed. And still no special items worthwhile talking about. But anyway, now hopefully I can actually go get some food and we'll catch up with you guys afterwards. Hey guys, so um Trace trying to chase down another semi-rare Pokemon for you guys for this episode. It's just in front of us there, you'll see it's a wheezing. You know, it's not, not a very common one, so I figured well we'll chase him down and get him added to this video for you guys. Um I do obviously have a few of them, but let's add him into the video and give us another interesting rareish catch here at Johannesburg Zoo and there he is guys there he is there he pops up for us so let's have a sit here see if we can get him oh he wants to be a wild capture so i think we should do that let's give him a wild capture here in the zoo if i can do it oh we managed to do it I'm, i've got him in the wrong hands again guys and one, two, let's swap again. Sorry guys, sorry about the angles. Let's swap, put him in there, see if we can get him. Sorry guys, I had him a little bit closer to you. He's wheezing on those people over there. And let's see, let's see, let's see. One, and he popped out again. Okay, is he gonna stay, is he gonna stay? 1,339 the, the live catches are a lot harder to do I do find that definitely a lot harder Broke free again This guy's not, not playing bubble, playing ball Definitely not wanting to stay He's also battling to get a decent throw out of this though So let's see Come on. Okay guys, I'm taking it off AR Sorry, it's just not working for me. He's not staying. He's too all over the place. 
And you see, see how much easier it is without AR. So much easier to do without AR on. AR on. One. Yes. Why is he so hard? Is he going to be an incredible RV? Is he going to be a 100% coffin to add to the 100% so we've been catching lately? Let's see. Got a great. Okay. Can he stay? One. Two. Why is this guy being such a challenge? He's really, really, really been a challenge. Got a nice that time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Two, three. There you go, there you go, guys. There you go. Finally, he stayed. Sorry, I had to take it off AR, but it just was becoming too much of a challenge to keep him in. Not the greatest move set. Let's appraise him. May not be great. Well, that's an interesting one to take so many ultra balls to keep down. But, okay guys, now I've left the family there with the lunch. Let me go back. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. And maybe something else will pop up a little and then I'll have to run again. And you know what? I'll do it for you guys. Hey guys, yeah, I forgot to record a closing for this. I really hope you enjoyed the video and seeing all the animals and stay tuned for more upcoming episodes.